What's going on with there, truck drivers? Listen, it's that time of the year. It's winter time. So today in this video, I want to give you some tips that will help you be able to drive in icy and snowy and winter conditions. But first, if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button. Make sure at the end of the video, you like the video or like it now if you get some value out of it. And let's get in right into it. First off, winter driving can be a lot different. We've been driving all summer, so we've been used to those easy dry roads. Well, now it's about to change and we need to be prepared. The first thing to be prepared and driving in winter is you wanna make sure that you're inspecting your vehicle. You wanna make sure that you're only doing a pre-trip, but you wanna check your tire pressure because in colder weather, you lose a lot of tire pressure. So making sure you're checking your tires, make sure you're checking your oil and especially your antifreeze. So you wanna make sure that all those fluids are up to date. Number two, you want to slow down, drivers. I always say slow down, slow down, slow down, but I really mean slow down this time <laughs> because in the weather, in bad weather, let's say in rainy conditions, it takes, uh, your truck takes actually like twice as long to stop. In icy conditions, it takes about 10 times longer to stop. So that gives me brings me into number three, and that, that step is giving yourself extra space. You wanna make sure that you're giving yourself plenty of space. Listen, four-wheelers out there are gonna be slipping and sliding. Other trucks are gonna be slipping and sliding. You gotta stay away from everybody. It's a lot different than just driving regular driving drivers. This is serious. A lot of accidents happen in winter. So you wanna stay away from everybody. So when a four-wheeler spins out, because they will, and when they do something crazy, you wanna have enough room that you can get out of their way, and that way you can be safe. So at the end of the day, your load's going to get delivered and you're going to make it home safe without a damaged truck or without anything in record. I've done a lot of driving in the winter. I used to have a dedicated rep from Atlanta to Akron, Ohio, and I was driving in snow and ice a lot. And I've seen a lot of accidents. I almost gotten a few of them. But the main thing that's kept me protected is, like I said, is following some of these tips right here. Okay, the next thing you want to do, stay smooth, drivers. That's right, stay smooth. What I mean by staying smooth is you don't want to brake suddenly. You want to make it smooth braking. You don't want to, you don't want to accelerate suddenly. Uh, you don't want to give it a high fuel and you don't want to go around corners real fast. You want to make smooth turns, smooth lane changes. So keep it smooth, drivers. That's what I call it, keeping it smooth, man. If you get some value from this so far, smash that like button right now. So basically what you want to do is you want to stay smooth and not get on those brakes. Okay, another tip here, number five, is you wanna pay attention to the tire spray. That is the one of the most forgotten about things in trucking, is the tire spray. When you're driving down the road and it's wet, you'll see water coming up from the tires. That means the water, the, the, you know, the ground is wet, the road's wet. But once that spray quits coming up, that means the road is starting to get icy. It's about to get serious out here, drivers. So if you're paying attention to that, you'll always know. Okay, number uh, seven is, uh, actually number six, sorry about that, is let there be light. Uh, when I say that, is look at the wintertime, it's, it's cloudy. Uh, your vision is not as great. It's gloomy outside. Uh, you can't see as good. Your distance is not as far because the snow's coming down and all that good stuff. So you want to make sure that you've got your headlights on. You want to make sure that your you know your fog lights are working. You want to make sure that uh, all your marker lights are cleaned off. They're gonna get salt and stuff done. So you want to make sure that people can see you as well when we're driving. All right, number seven, take evasive action. What I mean by that is when you pull up on somebody. You want to make sure that you don't slam on the brakes. You might have to go zoom on around somebody. So you might have to take evasive action instead of locking them brakes down. You might have to dodge around. It's like almost playing dodge cars out here, drivers. So that is a good tip to use, but use it carefully. So by doing that, you've got to pay attention. You've got to keep your eyes open. You've got to stay alert. All right, number eight, when in doubt, pull over. If, if you're going 15, 20 miles an hour, it's, no, it's not worth the drivers. There was a night I was driving, and I was like, God, I'm only going like 20 miles an hour. There was wrecks. People were jackknifing everywhere. So I knew it was time for me to get off the road. Got off the road that night, parked. Next day, the salt had somebody salted the roads, you know, the, the workers out there, and I was going, shoot, shot out at 65 miles an hour, no problem. The same drivers I was going around at 15 miles an hour, I seen them on the side of the road, or they may have made a few more exits, and I was able to get a good night's sleep and still get way ahead of them. All right, number nine is being prepared. You've got to be prepared, drivers, when you're out here in this winter driving. Make sure you've got extra blankets. Make sure you have food. Make sure you have water. 
you never know if you're going to break down and you're going to be stuck in a blizzard somewhere. So you want to make sure you've got, you can stay warm. You've got insulated socks. Keep insulated socks. Make sure you've got a good heavy jacket. Make sure you've got good dry boots. Uh, waterproof boots is going to keep you from getting all your feet, getting your feet wet. So you want to be prepared. You want to have a good medical kit. Uh, you want to have a good flashlight. Uh, you want to have things that, you know, that you may need that you just can't get to the truck stop and get. Make sure you got your chains. Make sure you've got a good tarp. If you're out on the ground, you might want to put a tarp down so that way you can chain up these trucks. You don't want to be having your knees all in the Keep you some knee cut covers, you know, some to protect your knees when you get on the ground. Make sure you got some good waterproof gloves. And I get them a little extra extra big that way my regular gloves can fit up under and I can stay warm. So make sure you've got your travel kit and your winter trip trip ready. And then last but not least, number 10, check it twice, just like Santa Claus. When you're pulling out at the red light, stop sign, change lanes, double check twice because people will be slipping and sliding around here and your business is not that great. So make sure you like this channel, subscribe to my channel. Let's get it.